Yep. I mean, it's just great to see Meister being able to go out to more tournaments because there was a period where it was like, hey, we haven't seen Meister in a little bit. What's he been up to? And some people just kind of forgot how good he is and how much of a travesty it was that he hadn't won a major as well, right? And we get to see him have another chance at that at main stage. Of course, it's not just about winning here, too. You've also got the chance to qualify for Summit if you make it to the top six. And Meister certainly will have his eyes set on that target. But first, he'll have to get through his pools, and Elvis will be the next one in his path. And like you said, maybe not everybody's heard of this Meta Knight, but there is certainly a chance that something big happens. Yeah, I mean, Elvis already with an upset so far, beating Frog, the uh, really powerful Bayonetta from Vegas Ooh, uh, before wow. this. So it's certainly something that you uh, you you really have to be scared of because, oh, look at that dash tag. He's, he's already hunting for the, these crazy confirms. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really interested to see, you know, how he does against a character like Game & Watch who has that really, really good get off me tool, the up B, what, what is it, like frame two or three intangible, um, and then just yeah, has that hitbox out super, super fast. So I'm, I'm interested to see if he is able to find ways to get it started against Game & Watch or if Game & Watch is going to, you know, do the classic thing where he sets, sets you up in the corner and eats you alive for breakfast. Now, that's what Meister is saying, literally with the breakfast, too, as well, right? Yep. He's got the chef as well. And Meister trying to set up for that, but we do see one big thing that Elvis has going for him in this matchup, which is that Meta Knight's recovery is phenomenal, and not just in the distance, but that there's a lot of mix to it as well. And it's going to be hard for Meister to get easy confirms at the ledge like you can against a very large majority of the cast. You see Elvis tons of ways to get around these situations. What we haven't seen yet from Elvis is big damage. And we talked about the fact that Meta Knight can blow you up so easily, but he has to choose his spots very carefully because you do have to get really up close to your opponent as a Meta Knight to get these things started. But <laughs> Game & Watch is a very scary character to try to get up close against. Yeah, I think definitely Game & Watch is going to have the advantage in the neutral. We even see with that up smash charge, Elvis is like, I'm not messing with that. You charge an up smash, I'm not coming anywhere near you. Even I'm not even going to try to punish the end lag of it because it's basically non-existent. So Elvis is is seem, seeming to be very disciplined so far. And when he chooses his approaches, nice dash tag upbeat. Uh, that's one of the one of the best one of the best ways to get kills at the uh, the sort of the mid percentages, uh, mid to high percentages, especially against a character like Game Watch. Very paper light, gonna die at the top. But um, yeah, that that was a classic Game Watch setup. You throw the, the bomb on their shield, and you can just grab it. It's, it's plus. It's plus. Oh my goodness! Wow, and great movement right there from Elvis with that dimensional cape on stage, immediately firing back at Meister, but. First stock will go the way of the Game & Watch with that Lion Tamer, the chair. Porto going to take the first stock, and Elvis not able to pick one up on the edge guard, so he will go back to neutral. I'm going to be interested to see if Elvis, while playing from behind, is going to get more aggressive or stay even keel with this very patient game plan we've seen these first couple of minutes in this first stock. Yeah, it's definitely a test as, as you know, sort of that, like, local talent, that, like, not, not big tested, you know, top player, how do you how do you like deal with somebody counter your game plan well? And you know, nice up B. He's been staying patient so far, and I'd love to see if he continues that, continues using his game plan and not over over aggressing when he's behind. I, I think that this matchup is going to be determined, especially between these two players, who makes fewer mistakes. Because you see that it's really just mistakes that these two are capitalizing off of. You know, Elvis is being very patient to wait to see if Meister is going to just put himself in a little bit too much end lag, open up something like this where you get a few up airs and a few percentages. Meister off stage on this ledge trap now where Elvis has picked up quite a bit of percentage, even bringing this game right back to even, and there's no momentum for Meister right now. Yeah, I mean, Meister is dead even, and it seems like uh, Elvis has been a little bit more proficient at getting the early kills, but oh, the down smash, yeah. Down smash, Anzi here, so good at covering both ways. And yeah, now that, now that Elvis went for a little bit too aggressive. You talked about who's going to make less mistakes, and that was a huge one. I do appreciate the idea, though, of getting aggressive against Meister, because as the timer ticks down, you do have to be wary of that as a win condition, but especially that Meister has been in these positions before, right? He's no stranger to people trying to be very patient against him, and going for an aggressive play every once in a while, I think is very, very worthwhile to consider. The only problem is that Elvis definitely did that in a position where there's no chance he could live, and that is one of the problems he had to face down. Yeah, that's the that's what you gotta be careful about. Oh, up he had a shield able to punish the down tilt after the second one. Nice, uh, nice job, Meister, knowing how far that reaches. And now we're sort of a little bit high on the kill percent. Uh, sorry, a little bit high on the percent. It's a little bit more difficult to get these confirms for Elvis, but we're seeing him going for these these neutral bees and uh, a couple other things to try to catch Game of Watch in the corner. Um, fun thing, fun thing about Meta Knight is every single one of his specials can both kill 
and recover. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and you see, we've seen El Elvis use these this, these up bees and these neutral bees to good effect so far, but we haven't seen a lot of the uh, the dimensional cape trigger pull so far. And that's that's it's it's laggy, but sometimes you know that's like a good mix up that we're looking for. And I expect him to see to see him pull it out near the end of the set. A Meister being ultra patient on this ledge right now too, waiting to see if Elvis will try to get aggressive again as the timer ticks down. Meister knows he can take, you know, 13 or 14 of these down tilts with two minutes left. It is on Elvis to make a big play and Meister does not mind, you know, timing out to the maximum of this invincibility that he can hold onto the ledge for and taking 3% at a time because Elvis is going to need a bigger play and trying to find his way through the barrage of bombs, not going to happen. And Meister right back to the ledge, almost opened himself up, but Elvis not able to get a big conversion. And we are right back to the corner. Meister's scared. It really looks like Meister is just can't, maybe he's not scared. Maybe this is his game plan, but it seems like he is, he is maybe not scared, but he is tentative. He is respectful. He is respectful because, oh. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, he is respectful of what Elvis can do at these percentages with this amount of rage. I'm not sure if this is in dash attack range to set up for an up B, but Elvis, off of one confirm, might be able to set up for the game winner, but couldn't find one. Meister is going to persevere with just over a minute left on the clock. Or Tilt will get another KO and win him that game one. But, man, Elvis putting up a great fight in that first game and had a really, really solid game plan that Meister was struggling to deal with. Yeah, Meister... Was was creative in his solution to maybe not a problem, but something that he was he was a little bit uh, a little bit nervous about trying to trying to approach this this Meta Knight. I mean, the Meta Knight's super scary because if you overcommit to one move, suddenly you can die, and he knows that. And he knows that he's not going to overcommit to anything. He's going to use careful, precise moves rather than you know just throwing out anything. And I, and I like that a lot because I feel like that's something that he's he's adapted as a player too. He used to be a little bit a little bit too over aggressive sometimes doing doing crazy stuff, but now he seems like he's wrapped that up a little bit, been a little bit more patient and it's paying off. And even at these early percents, Meister's still happy to go into the corner because he knows that, for one thing, you're not going to be able to overshoot as Meta Knight if you are in the corner as a Game & Watch. And if you do, you're going off stage and you're putting yourself in a potentially compromising situation. But Meister also using that to sort of force Elvis to approach, maybe even get some big combos, which we have seen. That one's not quite going to get the KO, but again, at the ledge against Game & Watch, one of the scariest positions to be in the entirety of Smash Ultimate. And uh, one thing I want to note is, even though it says best of three, at the top, I believe this is a best of five match, considering the fact that we are in uh, the top 64 winners qualifiers. So even if even if Elvis loses this game, still has a little bit more of a chance. Mm. I mean, and honestly, again, like you don't want to go down 2-0 against Meister, but we do still see the consistent game plan. And remember that Meister did get off to a pretty early lead in that game one as well. And Elvis continued to stay into the game because the patience was still there. A little bit of a big trigger pull on that dimensional cape though. Meister taking advantage. Still only 13% as we tick down to a minute and a half past in this game. But it just goes to show the game plans are very, very hard stuck in both of these players' minds. And they do not want to deviate from them because in their minds, both of them are working. Oh no, rare misstep from Elvis, but isn't really punished for it. Just lost a little bit of stage control. And yeah, I, I agree. I, I'm really impressed so far with Elvis's ability to stick to that game plan. Not do anything, not do anything crazy. Just make sure he knows exactly what he's he's going for. And uh, yeah, it is best of five confirmed by production. Thank you, production. Oh, but oh, nice Ooh. up B1 into back air, setting up for a possible kill in the neutral B with a really early kill. Uh, Meister is you know, doing a really good job, uh, doing a really good job of staying ahead, but Elvis is making Ooh. something happen with his back air, 38%. Wow. Absolutely incredible stock from Elvis right there. That's one of the reasons it's dangerous to stay in the corner against Meta Knight, as Meister has done this whole time, because if your positioning's even a little bit off, you are going to get leveled just like we saw, and Elvis now getting to play with the lead. The onus is on Meister to bring this one back. Oh man, Meister is throwing out that up smash, and it seems like uh, it seems like Elvis has gained a new level of confidence after those two early kills. Now it seems like there's a there's a sort of initiative here, and oh, he tried to get that dash attack, but didn't have the dash before, so was not was not able to confirm into the up air yet. But oh, that's a little scary. <laughs> Don't be messing with up smash. And very oh, no way, 39. Elvis! Absolutely 39%. incredible reaction right there. Meister too aggressive with the up B. The crowd is popping off too. He has chopped Meister up to bits in that game too. He took like 120% the whole game. Like he died 
right here at 38%. 38.0 and then dying right here at what was it 39 percent i mean and that would be post hit I mean, meister yeah too yeah. aggressive chasing and the positioning from elvis too knowing that meister would chase with that up b so if he drops down into the right just a little bit he's in the perfect position to follow up with that up b elvis looking amazing right now i mean sometimes you steal those stocks and sometimes you steal all three stocks like this that whole game just came down to positional play by Elvis, knowing exactly when he could pull the trigger and not getting dissuaded by the fact that he was down a whole stock. Game Watch was only at 13% after a minute and a half, like you noted. And yet Elvis was able to wrap that game up before even half the timer had gone away. And we are sticking to small battlefield for maybe even this whole set. Meister taking him back here. This is game three of a best of five set. And that was Elvis working with a lot of momentum, but Meister right back into the corner, tossing out the chef and no, Meister, you know, I'm saying, hey, look, you figure out a way to approach me. It, it's 1 p.m. I think it's time to stop serving breakfast, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm trying to get a whole burger. Exactly. And Elvis, <laughs> these dash dances are crazy. I'm loving it from Elvis, but Meister finally finding a, another starter. And this is exactly how last game looked. But <laughs> this time, Meister is committed to a game plan. He is like, all right, all right, we're here, we're making breakfast, and it's gonna be all day, baby. We're McDonald's, we're serving breakfast all day now. <laughs> all right, 132%, I and mean, this is just, again, mirror image of those first two games. Obviously, it was down to the big moment. <laughs> the crowd had just popped off after one dash attack. Again, you know how dangerous it is. A Meta Knight with Rage can do unspeakable things. Yeah, I mean, this is a SoCal crowd right here. You see all of the homies are in the back, ready, but... <laughs> Trying to shut it down a little bit as 19% only taking on this first suck, but this is just like last game. Anything could happen as we're already hunting for these up airs, but answering back is Game and & Watch and now going for a little bit of judgment here. <laughs> and the, the judge determined he was not in the hitbox. Yeah. Meister, <laughs> I would not be surprised if he just continues to rack up this damage. I mean, getting to play with the lead is obviously very important with Mennonite and kind of playing with a one stock lead it's the same as being a like a soccer team up one goal because if the other team scores another goal, it's disastrous. You can't let Meta Knight just get something out of nowhere, and that's the kind of thing this character does. And Elvis, plenty of resources to make it back. As you noted, Meta Knight, tons of different ways to get back to stage, but you are taking a trip to the Blast Zone, express courtesy of Have a Seat Air. <laughs> yeah, definitely assigned seating for this, uh, for this little ball with wings, but right now, it, it doesn't seem like the the last game was anything anything in uh, Meister's head. I mean, it's just like, all right, you know, that happened to me. We're good. We keep going on. I, I like to talk a little bit about how top players have a, kind of a short-term memory sometimes. It's like, okay, something crazy happened to me. Next game, we move on, and we get three stocks, less than 50%. It's like, okay, well, I only took 120% last game, and I, I died three times. This time, I'm going to take way less than that. And if you never get me past 50, you're going to have to do something real creative to get a kill. Yeah, we just did not see that from Elvis. I mean, overall, I feel like Elvis was maybe a little bit too confident in that game three and definitely <laughs> deviated from the game plan, especially after that first stock got taken. Because, I mean, through about the first minute or so, was still playing very patiently, but the spacing was not the same as it was in those first two games. It seems like he let the weight off of his shoulders that was actually keeping him in check for those first two games after he got one on the board. And we need to see a return to that patient, grounded spacing because he did also see Elvis play a lot more aerial against Meister in that game three. And Meister was able to hit him back pretty hard for that too. So as we go into game four with a stage change to Hollow Bastion as well, this is definitely a response from Elvis towards Meister sitting in the corner underneath the platform, shooting the chef everywhere. Other than that, game plan might not be all that different. Yeah, I, I like to I like to think that Elvis is gonna use the lack of a platform for a, a bit more like creative aerial approaches. You talked about how last game oh oh you're dead. No Oh I thought he had it, but Elvis keeps that keeps it going. <laughs> Once again, spinning to win as the S smash comes out, not enough to get the kill, but Elvis is hunting here. What do you think about this? Oh ridiculously aggressive approaches he's going for right now. Well, I mean, he's had Meister off stage and kind of lacking resources, has a really good read on the way that he's recovering. So I do appreciate, again, some amounts of aggression. And right there, catching that approach, the forward smash may just be a little bit stale from that last hit a few hits ago. 
Might still have been in the stale move queue, so Meister does get to avoid the Blast Zone for a little bit longer. But key part here on Hollow Bastion, we don't see a very patient game. We don't see Meister taking a huge lead at the start. This is dead even right now. Up throw? Nah, not yet. Game. Meta Knight's up throw like never kills. Okay. You need a you need a platform, and it's like 160 or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, I, okay. Like a 150, platform, 150. like you said. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. You got it. You game, got it. Game and watch a little lighter than I expected. But still, yeah, it's it's a. Uh, <laughs> he delivered that up for me on a silver platter. I said you got it. I mean, and right now Elvis getting to play with the lead, which again, I've only really seen in one game, and that was the one that he won. And the onus is on Meister to make things happen here. Playing at 111%, though, Elvis is not going to probably get too aggressive, right? Got a lot of that out of his system in this game, now can just play right back to that incredible spacing we saw in the first two games. Yeah, I'm loving this shadowing that Elvis is doing right now. Shadowing is a technique you use where you, like, stay at the same distance of your, as your opponent, and you just, and you just, like, move back when they move forward. You move forward when they move back, and you just, you, you sort of shadow the distance, and you always keep in a threat range. You're not necessarily going to use any moves, but the fact that you can is really scary, especially against a, a player that, you know, is is scared of you killing them at 39% because you did it twice in the previous games. Elvis oh. right now with some up airs nah, could nah, start fine. something big, but great DI by Meister as well, knowing right that you have to hold that away as hard as you can to escape these combos. Elvis though right now still working on some big damage. 47% on Meister, you know, as a Meta Knight, Sometimes that does not come easy, and this is starting to get to those dangerous percents where something stray from Elvis can lead to a KO. Yeah, even with this rage, there's something that can always happen. We saw a couple times him going for the drag down back airs like he just did right there. And it's, it's really good for getting drag down back air into down smash, setting up a an edge guard. And because we've seen twice when Pacer's in the corner and Elvis is ready, he can absolutely make some damage happen. We're about to cross the threshold of three minutes into this game. Both of these players still sitting relatively early on their second stock. Meister immediately bringing back that damage. And that is just one of the differences between these two characters is that Meta Knight doesn't need a lot of percentage to get that KO, but also Game & Watch can rack it up really, really quick. And it's on Elvis to realize, right, that, okay, he's done a lot of damage to me, but if he's at 50, he is in danger. I don't need to be as concerned about Meister having that percentage lead because that does not dictate the pace of the game. Right, I mean, there's two ways we've seen Elvis getting these kills. It's one is I'm robbing your stocks super early, and two, it's it's taking a long time and slowly eking out neutral wins and eventually getting one last hit. So Elvis obviously hoping for the former, but the latter is, is certainly an option. But when Maester takes those things, those stocks away from you that early, it's a little bit less consistent. And then we see the down air out of shield tries to get a neutral air, but that uppy is so so priority heavy and it's really difficult to contest it when you're down that low. And Meister playing with the lead right now, and it looks like he has gotten a much better handle on Elvis's positioning more than anything, right? He's put himself in a lot of great spots. And now it's on Meister to pull the trigger. Love this movement in the corner from Elvis. Don't love the commit to the up B, though. Meister is going to be able to get his ledge trap started once again. But this Meta Knight stuck here. Lots of options going right into the chef, but Meister, again, getting this struggle started. Things may be slipping away here for Elvis. This is his last shot to keep this upset alive. Yeah, this is his big chance, his one opportunity, but still making things happen. Oh, tried to read the tech away, but that time, Maester was ready with a tech in, and that's uh, pretty unusual. A lot of times people will try to get away, try to get away from you in this, these high percentage, but good mix up so far. And now these forward smashes are really, are really, you know, not punishable. A lot of times people try to go go for a forward smash, and it's like, oh no, they 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 missed. We're good. But Meta Knight's not. He's always he's always able to. You know, just act almost immediately afterwards. Elvis goes for a ledge trap, trying to catch that, trying to catch that ledge trump, but the chair and that assigned seating is back in place. Sorry, return flight home. No upset for you today, but man, you can tell he was scared. I yeah, Meister definitely felt the pressure that Elvis put on him, right? I don't think expected to see such a solid game plan going into that set, and he was definitely pushed to adapt to it, right? I mean, he really, I think, took down Elvis in that first game with a lot of his own really solid weapons. And then Elvis, of course,